Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I wanna share with you a tool that definitely is gonna save your bank account from being hacked. Now, before you start watching this video, this is uh, something that mostly is gonna apply for people that are in the US. So if you're in other country, you might wanna check if this will work for you. One is you're gonna be able to create temporary uh, debit cards that's going to be linked to your main uh, main bank account. Now, what is this very helpful is that you can set limits on how much you can spend on a specific card. If you are trying subscriptions, you know, it's very easy to forget that you need to cancel or sometimes these companies make it very hard for you to cancel a subscription. You have to call them, things like that. So if you want to avoid that completely, you can use this tool to sign up for things, try them, and then you can always close the card. You're never gonna give your real card, uh, you know, to any of these companies. And also if they get hacked or anything like that, it's gonna protect you from, you know, being robbed. Also, uh, it's very common in the US that a lot of companies will overcharge for things either by mistake or because they were not very transparent about like additional fees. So if you set a limit and then later try to charge you anything, it's not going to be possible because the car only will accept the payment for what you set it on the first time. And also if one transaction was done and let's say you share that car with somebody else, it won't allow it because it will only take payments from that specific company. So again, this is very, very useful. Uh, for many different things. So let me show you what it is and what uh, and how it works. And if you want to try it, I have a link in my description. They're not paying me for this, but just by sharing my link, you get $5 when you spend some money and I also get $5. So we help each other, right? So let's get into it. Okay, so the, the name of the website is privacy.com. You can go directly to their website or again, you can go on my link uh, on the description and get uh, you know, a referral. And that way you get $5 when you sign up. It's free up to 10 cards. So you can literally create 10 different cards and you'll be able to set the limits. And as you use them, you can always close them and you can learn more in their website. But I'm gonna show you my account so you can see what it looks like. So we're gonna go into my account. This is my main, um, pretty much account right here and I'm gonna create one. Now I'm not sharing um, my full screen just because I have so many cards and I just don't want it to be compromised, right? But once you click on add new card, this is the screen that's gonna show. And the first thing you can do is uh, click where it says uh, nickname right here and then you can tag your own name. So let me show you actually. So once you go here, right, and you type, let's say, is a trial for TV, right? So even if it doesn't exist here, you can just leave it as TV and then click save. And then right here where it says limit, you can click on it. And then you can select uh, the amount that you want to spend either per month, per year, per transaction, or just a single use. So let's say you want to pay something and then you want the card to automatically uh, destroy itself, right? And you can again set as much money as you want. Uh, you can also just put the amount that you need to pay. And let's say on this one, I'm just gonna do single transaction and then set 25 limit. And then once I do that, I'm gonna click create card. And then now, as you can see here, it's giving me an error because I exceeded the number of cards I have, which is 10. But as soon as it gives you, as you, as soon as you click create card, you're gonna be able to see the card number and all information. And all you have to do is get that information and you know put it on your subscription, and you should be able to uh, spend on any money. Now, if there's there's cases where you try to sign up for something and you try one of these cards and it doesn't work. Many times it's because the company is trying to do a test on the amount, right? So it could be like $10, $20. So in the beginning, you can always set a limit of like $50, let's say, and then later change it. Or you can always use like a $1, you know, amount just if you're trying something so the company can, you know, if they're doing some kind of trial, they won't charge you necessarily, 
but they just want to verify it's a real car. And once they do that, then you can proceed. In very, very few cases, uh, what it could happen is they're going to be able to not, they're not going to be able to charge you. And that's because what happens there is you're going to have this issue of the, the company knowing is a burn car, right? That you can just change it. <clears throat> what you want to do in this case is add your real, real car just to get into the subscription. Once you have access to the subscription, you can go into the settings and do billing and then change your or update your credit card or debit card and then, then it will accept it. So it's very few and rare cases that this happens, but now you know the trick. So if that's the case, you can do that. But again, this is going to save you a lot of headaches having to deal with companies not giving you refunds or uh, overcharging you for things because you're going to set a limit. So it's always going to be very cool and transparent that you have this, you know, extra cars that you can use without having to put your real uh, car number and risking somebody to getting, you know, uh, your information and then trying to use it at stores. And more in December is something that happens very common. So again, hopefully this helps you and see you in the next video.